Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to create blocks in Excel. That way you can easily block your questions uh, for your survey. It's nice to have blocks, that way you keep all the same questions all together, and it breaks up your questions in Qualtrics. So each block will start a new page uh, for your participants, and so it makes sure that they're actually moving through the survey and not scrolling down a very, very long page. Uh, because that would be kind of annoying if they you had say for instance 20 questions They're going to have to scroll down a very long page to finish those questions. It's better if they go uh, to different pages by adding these blocks so I've already created a block from what we had here. So this was our default question block. That's what we started with. It's easy to add a block because there's these this text here that you just click on it and it adds a block for you. I created a block. This is just as an example, attitudes towards drones. We may be looking at drones in this survey. And the last block that you're going to need to have in your survey is your demographic questions. So your survey will end with those demographic questions. Make sure that you end your survey with your demographic questions. So here, I'm just going to type demographics. And so that is how you add that block and how you name that block there. There's also block options, but you're not necessarily going to need to mess with any of these. But say, for instance, if you needed to rearrange your blocks, you could move it up or down. and um, you could also do a couple of other things here, but I think that uh, as a basics, we just need to know how to add blocks and name those blocks. That's way it's easier for us to um, move through the survey and easier for our participants to move through that survey. So if you have any other questions on how to add and name blocks in Qualtrics, feel free to email me at kt.manus at ttu.edu. Thanks, bye-bye.